Hello dear students this is Dr Amarpreet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department in this lecture i am going to discuss about genetic code what is genetic code before discussing the topic i want to remind you that in my previous lectures i have been repeatedly saying that dna what it contains why it is so important why it is called as a control of a cell because dna contains the information about the synthesis of proteins what kind of proteins will be formed okay and this information it remains inside the dna in the form of codes and what are the codes simply nucleotides three nucleotides they mean one codon okay before going beyond another question that i want to put you people is how many different kind of proteins are present in this world i guess nobody will be able to answer the question because each day we are discovering new kind of proteins but if i ask you the sub units amino acids which make proteins how many they are you people will say 20 yes 20 there are only 20 sub units and these sub units they can form different type of proteins and and difference in these proteins is basically in the sequence of the amino acids or the number of amino acids maybe a polypeptide chain that can contain uh, 20 amino acids and another chain that will contain 21 amino acids okay and also the sequence it is important if we have two chains of polypeptides that means two proteins they are having the same uh, number of amino acids but at one place there is certain change uh, in the amino acid it can entirely change the character of a protein remember it so the codons and genetic information it is very important it can decide the destiny of a protein and that can lead to the destiny of an organisms so so many scientists they have been working on this information that how this information is preserved inside the dna uh, many scientists they have worked uh, marvelously and they concluded the codon some of them are nirenberg matthew and an indian scientist hc khurana okay they were able to decipher the code the coded information which is present inside the dna and they formalized some silent features of genetic code here i am going to discuss about the features of genetic code firstly genetic code it is triplet code each codon it is made up of three adjacent nitrogenous bases for example valine i will say it is made up of guanine uracil and guanine clear the second character is that each codon it is non ambiguous that means only one codon it codes for one amino acid so you can say the codon it is specific in nature another feature about genetic code or codon is that they are commonless in nature there is no punctuation between the genetic codes if you are writing a sequence of a polypeptide chain in the form of codons you cannot put any kind of punctuation between or among the codons clear the fourth character is that genetic code it is degenerate in nature that means 
even a single amino acid it is coded by many codons for example we have three uh, amino acids serine leucine and arginine all these are coded by six codons clear but already i have said that uh, biology it is a science of exception so we have exceptions for this rule too we have methionine and tryptophan Ma they are non degenerate codes codons that means only a u g okay it will code methionine and u g g it will code tryptophan clear another rule for uh, genetic code is it is universal in nature it is applicable in whole universe for example triple u uracil 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 it will code for phenyl alanine in all organism whether it is a bacteria a virus a mammal or a bird okay wherever the three codons uh, which are present uh, in the form of uh, sorry uh, three nucleotide which are present in the form of u u u that means it will um, form phenyl aniline but again we have exception to this rule some uh, some protozoans they are exception to this universal code okay another thing which is important is we have some initiation codons for example aug it uh, has dual function it codes for methionine and it also acts as a initiator codon okay for translation for protein synthesis another feature for genetic code is stop signals there are some code uh, codes okay for example uaa uag and uga these are stop codons which actually terminates give signal that now translation or protein synthesis it is stopped last and final feature about genetic code is they are non overlapping okay each codon is it is independent and one code does not overlap the other one i hope you people have understood the topic if you have any question or uh, you want to discuss some problem you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can post over there thank you